you doing? How are you feeling? How's August treating you? Yes, we're in the month of August, the month of Taylor Swift, the month of Augustine, the month of rust on your doors, um, salt in the air. I haven't done a vlog <laughs> in so long. I'm so sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't like forcing things. And recently, I haven't been feeling the best. And yeah, I don't really want to force myself to do a vlog if I'm not feeling like it. But it's also kind of sad because my favorite types of content are vlogs and my favorite things to watch are vlogs. And the fact that I'm not even doing them and not even watching them... At this point, who am I? I have no idea. I am disgusting. <laughs> Today, I woke up and I didn't immediately want to cry. So I took that as a sign that I should, you know, vlog for a little bit and just see how that goes. So that's what we're doing. We're taking baby steps. I feel like I haven't talked to the camera in a vlog type of way in so long. I haven't uploaded a vlog in maybe since July, maybe, I wanna say. But here's the thing, I've been recording things I just never, I'm never really happy with the things that I film. I just feel like it's not entertaining enough. I feel like you guys wouldn't really care to see those types of things. So I thought, hey, what if I just do it anyway? <laughs> like, yeah, maybe it's boring. Maybe it's the worst vlog you'll ever put out there. But hey, maybe one person is going to enjoy it. Maybe one person is going to find comfort in the things that you show and the things that you talk about so i thought i would do that because you know i know someone out there someday maybe will find this vlog and be like okay i relate to this or i like this or this makes me feel happy and if i'm doing this for that one person then i guess that's it i guess i guess i'm doing it for that one person <laughs> so <laughs> For today's vlog, I'm just going to be putting together all of the clips that I've been recording for the past month and a half. I'm going to try and put it in a way that is cohesive, but also entertaining and just like me. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to get back to me. And I feel like this is a nice first step because I just love editing. It's always been my favorite part of making videos apart from the comments. So, um... God, I'm really just like not having a good time recording this clip. Anyways, I'm literally two seconds away from deleting this clip and just pretending that it never existed. I've done that quite a few times, honestly. If I'm being honest, I've started so many different vlogs and halfway through, I'm like, I can't do this. I'm just going, you know, like, good try. I'll try again next month. That's happened quite a few times already and it's about to happen again. So I feel like... This is a real challenge for me. Um, I think instead of just pretending that this is the best that I can do, I'm going to push through and what, what can I do? Oh my God, <laughs> I'm literally spiraling on camera. <laughs> I do have this one package, hi, this one package and I have been meaning to open it, but I know that a lot of you really enjoy when I open gifts on camera and I'm pretty sure that this is a gift. So I've been waiting for me to have a good day for me to open this because I do want to share whatever is inside this box. I, st I literally have no idea. This is not open. Um, I have no clue what it is. Oh, oh, okay. I do know what this is. Yang Chen, the legend of Yang Chen the dawn of yang chen okay by fce my husband and i love your videos he's a big fan of this series so we can't wait to hear your thoughts on this new book hope you enjoy from ash and kel thank you <laughs> this is amazing this is fantastic i don't know if you can see them no you cannot where are they oh actually i moved them Okay, I got it. I got the books. FCE also wrote The Rise of Kyoshi and The Shadow of Kyoshi. And now this is a new story of one of the avatars. The Chronicles of the Avatar. That's what the series is called. And this is the new installment. These look stunning together. Oh my god. Oh wow. This propulsive third installment in the Chronicles of the Avatar illuminates Avatar Yangchen's journey from uncertain young woman to revered leader. <gasps> 
that makes me so excited to read this. Oh my God, that's stunning. That's beautiful. Oh my God. I remember when I first read the Kiyoshi books, I just fell so deeply in love. Like I already loved Kiyoshi because of the short glimpses that we got from the TV show. So when we got actual books of her journey and her companions and other things, I was so, I just fell completely in love with this story. And I just know, that the dawn of yang chen is not going to be an exception i just know that i'm going to have so much fun reading this and learning about the other avatars i'm just so excited so thank you so much ash and kel for doing the absolute most making me extremely happy and finally giving me some good food because i just feel like my physical tbr is not doing it for me like, I just look at the books that I have yet to read, that I currently own, and I'm like, I don't really want to read. Um, I'd rather watch K-dramas or watch anime, but this is like the first book in like a couple of months that I look at and I'm like, oh, I cannot wait to pick you up. So yes, I am so excited for this. Oh my god. Yes, thank you so much, Ash and Kel. I will treasure this like my own child. If I don't have any children, the avatars can be my children at this point because I love Kyoshi and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love Yang Chen as well. So yeah, um, thank you. Thank you so much. Should we do like a cute little reading update? There's really not much to say, but I do have one book that I'm currently reading. I haven't picked it up in like the last four days, but I, I did start it and I mean, that's progress. The book that I'm currently reading is An Arrow to the Moon by Emily XR Pan. I really haven't read that much. I'm in page 35, literally nothing. I'm st I can still use the little flap of the hardcover as a bookmark. That's how close to the beginning I am. And basically this is a modern retelling of Romeo and Juliet. If you've been here for a while, then you know that I've talked about this book so much. I was so excited before it came out to read it, but I don't know why. As soon as I got it, I was like, eh. <laughs> like, it just happened. That happens a lot, actually. Like, I'm really excited at the idea of something. And when it actually comes true, I'm just like, oh, right. Okay. I'm still excited to read this. It's just that my excitement in general for reading and books, it's kind of dwindled to nothing. So whenever I look at books, with the exception of Yang Chen, of course, whenever I look at books nowadays, I'm just like, oh, the anime I'm watching right now is really interesting and really good, and I'd rather watch that over reading An Arrow to the Moon. And I know that sometimes you just have to take a break from reading. Sometimes it's okay to not read books and just focus on other things, other hobbies that make you happy. But yeah, I don't know why I've just been feeling guilty for not reading and that just really hinders my enjoyment at times of other hobbies because I'm like, oh, I should have read at least 50 pages today, but I didn't because I was lazy. And it's not that I was lazy, it's just that I wasn't feeling it. But I don't know, it's a really confusing emotion and I have yet to deal with it. So there we go. I have some Patreon reading sprints later on the day. So maybe then I'll finally get back my love for reading because, you know, I'm forced to read and maybe reading with other people and discussing what we're reading and just like hanging out together. Maybe that'll like excite me to pick up more books. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I hope you're doing wonderful. I hope you're having a good day and yeah. <laughs> I love you all so very much. I hope you have a wonderful August and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey G, you nice, keep going. So nice.
wonderful people, wonderful friends. I hope you have your drink of choice ready because, um, yeah, I have some packages to like open. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm still recovering from the 24 hour live stream. So like words are hard. Where are my rings? You know what? Today, I can't live like this. I'm so sorry. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back with rings. Hi, everybody say hi. And I'm back with earrings as well. I feel like I wasn't a human before I put on my earrings. We have packages to open and I feel like they're very exciting. I think there's a gift here that I bought for a friend. And there's also a gift that I bought for myself. The other stuff, I'm not quite sure where it came from, but I guess, you know, no time like the present to find out. <laughs> I think I'm going to start with this one because this I'm kind of obsessed with. Hello, Isabella. Like I said, you are the reason I got into Jujutsu Kaisen. Hi, hello. <laughs> and as a thank you, I wanted to send you these bookmarks. Oh, look at this cute. This is the cutest thing ever. I've been making my own for a while now because reading and music are my favorite things, so I combined the two. I only just opened my shop in hopes of sharing with those who enjoy, and it brings me a lot of joy. I hope they bring you some as well, and if not, you may lie to me. <laughs> right, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. I will not lie to you, though. I don't really want to break this, though, but I will. I will. Hello, Isabella. Thank you for your support. Something extra for you. Ow! Stop pretending to be normal. Oh my god. Okay, this is Stray Kids. Obviously. Don't play by the rules. Do, do you want to know my story style? <laughs> oh my god. I love these so much. Okay, and this one. This is so cute. I'm in love. I'm in love. <laughs> this is so cute <gasps> don't don't <laughs> don't don't can i sorry i have to say it i need to be buried with this i'm sorry i'm so sorry i am so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry <laughs> I am, I am, I am in shock. Honestly, this is the, you know what I mean? Like, honestly, wow. <laughs> no, please, this is so cute. This is the cutest thing in the world. I want to scream. I want to cry. Look at them. Look at them. Okay, let me see the last one. Oh my God. I'm always where the food is. <laughs> I love this so much. You don't understand how in love I am with these. I'm so sorry. I think you know which my favorite ones are. Like these are definitely top tier, god tier. All of them are, but I have to admit these two took my breath away. Okay, I'm about to be a big disappointment <laughs> because I don't know if I can guess which ones these are. Like this gives me maniac because stop pretending to be normal. Also the brain in the back, like the little doodles, it gives me very much maniac. Actually, I know this is definitely maniac. Like I've sung that song so many times. <laughs> so I definitely know this is maniac, but this one, don't play by the rules. Oh, I don't know what this gives me. Also the fact that it matches my nails kind of, sort of, not really, but you know what I mean. I know, I, Mariela, come on now, come on now. Um, don't play by the rules. I'm gonna be so upset when everybody in the comments is like, sis, that's obviously from the play by the rules. I'm disappointing stays everywhere by not saying what music video this is inspired by. Thank you so much for this absolute treasure. It's like, you know me so well. You know what makes me happy. You've made my absolute day. The amount of detail and like the amount of love and attention that you've given this and me. It's priceless. I love it so much. Look at him. Look at my new bookmark. Stop. This makes me want to read so much more. It's like now that I have good bookmarks, I want to read some good books so I can, you know, use these. So thank you so much. That was a great way to start this unboxing. Wow, this is a really good coffee. Ooh, good job. Me. 
These two I'm very excited for because I know what they are. I bought them off of Etsy. You done showing off, King? Are you done? You're not done? You're not done? Are you really? these off of Etsy and I am very excited because they're not exactly work appropriate they are very much fun so one of them is a gift for a friend that is whose birthday is coming up I know she doesn't see my videos she's not a great friend <laughs> obviously I'm kidding but her shirt is here <laughs> so, okay so this is my friend Having me as a friend is honestly a gift. Like who else would give you things like this? <laughs> um, Bella, where the hell have you been, Loka? <laughs> I'm sure my friend will be very happy with that gift. But meanwhile, I also have this other thing. And this is for myself because sometimes you just gotta, you know, I've survived so many bad days and I feel like this is my reward for surviving them. Very in tune with the bookmarks that I just received, but this is a Jujutsu Kaisen shirt. Now I'm confused, did I order this? I'm very confused. I'm pretty sure I did. So let's say if I didn't, then I'm so sorry. Three hours later. I just want to fix something that I said that was actually incorrect. This shirt, I did not buy it. <laughs> I don't know how I have this in my hands. I'm pretty sure this was a gift, but it didn't come with a note. Um, the only thing it came with is this, and this just says my address and the store it was bought from. And because it came from an Etsy store, I was pretty sure that I got this myself because I have recently bought an anime inspired t-shirt, but it's not this one. <laughs> So now I'm just really confused because I don't know how this came to be in my hands. Isabella from the future, hi, hello, sorry to interrupt, but I finally did get a message from this person, the person who sent this to me. She is an absolute joy. So thank you so much for surprising me with this out of this world amazing gift. I It was literally the most surprising thing I've gotten and it really means the world to me that you would think of me and know me so well to know that I didn't own a Jujutsu Kaisen t-shirt and now, yeah, I'm a happy camper. <laughs> so thank you so much for sending it to me. I'm sorry for low-key taking credit for such an amazing gift. I did rectify the situation later on like I'm literally right now rectifying that situation but I was literally so confused <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for such an amazing gift Sunny it really meant so much to me it still does it's such a beautiful shirt and it's so good and I feel so cool whenever I'm wearing it so thank you it is a crime that this coffee is almost over because I think that's the best cup of coffee I've had in my entire lifetime Wow, we have this package of, okay, this is very big and very heavy. Not really sure what this is because I haven't ordered anything that should be this heavy from Amazon. So I guess we'll find out together. Do you want to see first? Oh, it's a gift. Okay, this could have been Yuna of the Dawn manga, but Amazon be playing. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this from Bethany. Okay, okay. I remember now, this is a gift from Bethany. Bethany is one of my premium simpers, a Patreon if you don't know, and Bethany got me this very heavy book. I'm always surprised by how heavy Mariana Zapata books are, but yeah, Bethany got me. <laughs> Bethany got me more notes. <laughs> Bethany got me the wall of Winnipeg and me, and it is, so carefully taken care of. I'm surprised by Amazon, honestly, that it is so cared of, but look at it. This has 665 pages. I am, she's insane. Mariana Zapata is actually insane. And I'm so happy for it. Vanessa Masur knows she's doing the right thing. She shouldn't feel bad for quitting. Being an assistant housekeeper fairy godmother to the top defensive end in the National Football Organization was always supposed to be temporary. 
She has plans and none of them include washing extra large underwear longer than necessary. But when Aiden Graves shows up at her door wanting her to come back, she's beyond shocked. Now, he's asking for the unthinkable. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this is, yeah, yeah. Um, this is so big. <laughs> this is big and heavy and probably needs like extra large underwear. And I am so excited. So thank you, Bethany, for helping me expand my Mariana Zapata collection. Um, I'm literally so excited. Like, I feel like Mariana Zapata books are the only ones where I don't even have to think about it. I just start reading them and suddenly it's over. Suddenly it's been seven hours and I'm done. Suddenly I don't know who I am and I need another Zapata book to keep me going. Like, I feel like her books are the only ones where I don't need to wait to be in this specific mood, I can just pick them up and read them. And I feel like that's some type of sorcery, that's some type of magic, and I'm so excited for this. We have this final box. What could it be? I don't know. Okay, okay. I'm so confused. Okay, this is a gift because notes. <gasps> um, are you absolutely? I mean, <laughs> I feel like I'm officially lost my mind. What? <laughs> are you seeing what I'm seeing? Am I? Oh my god. Oh my god. You stop. Okay, I love your channel and I was excited to see that you're gonna get into Attack on Titan since I just started rereading it. I hope you like it. Thanks for creating such lovely content from Erin. Thank you so much. I honestly, I put these on my wish list on a whim. I was like, okay, someday I'll get to them. I don't know when, but just so I don't forget that these versions exist, I'm going to add them to my wish list. Erin did the absolute most and got me volume one of the Omnibus, 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 Omnibus. Erin omnibus, omnibus. did the absolute most and she got me this version of Attack and Titan because I've been wanting to read the Attack and Titan manga for so long, but the fact that there are so many volumes is so terrifying to me. So I thought that getting versions that have more than one volume would be a little less intimidating. And then I found out about these versions, the omnibus versions. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for people existing outside of my room. That's very disgusting. But anyways, this volume includes one, two, and three. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm literally, look at this, look at this. Volumes one, which is called Attack and Titan volume one. <laughs> Why did I think they were going to have a special name? Attack on Titan Volume 2, Attack on Titan Volume 3. Um, yes, sir. That day, the human race remembered the terror of being dominated by them and the shame of being held captive in a bird cage. Obviously, I have seen the anime. I am not up to date just because I do know that we have to wait until 2023 until we get more episodes. And I know that that is just actual torture. So I stopped watching Attack on Titan. <laughs> Um, but I've been getting just like the feeling of wanting to rewatch from episode one, season one. And I think that maybe I'll rewatch it while I read the manga for the first time. Now that I have this lovely, amazing volume. Hi, hello. Thank you, Erin. Oh my God. I'm literally, I cannot believe I'm holding this in my hands. This was such a pipe dream to me, honestly. And now, now it is here. Now I have Attack of Titan in my hands. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, let me see if I can have, let me see if I can find a Levi panel. Okay, I found the Levi panel and it's him being a fidget spinner as always. <laughs> I do not remember this from the anime. Oh, it'll also be interesting to see how close the anime is to the actual manga. Is this him being a fidget spinner once again? <laughs> 
Oh, look at this. It's amazing, brilliant, stunning. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, this was such a lovely unboxing. <laughs> Thank you to Erin and Bethany and Mariela for doing the absolute most. Thank you for making my day so beautiful and so special. Like I'm never going to forget this. I am literally so in love with these bookmarks. Thank you so much, Mariela. Like honestly, beautiful. You're so talented. Please keep doing what you're doing. Like honestly, they're really beautiful and I love them. Um, and also just Bethany and Erin. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for making me want to live yet another day. Um, ah, I'm so happy. <laughs> right, this is a very interesting unboxing and I'm so happy that I got to share it with you guys. Let me know what your favorite item was. Was it the new Mariana Zapata book, My, The Wall of Winnipeg and Me? Was it the omnibus version of Attack on Titan? <laughs> was it the Bella Where the Hell Have You Been logo t-shirt? Was it the bookmarks? Like, there's literally so much to choose from. I cannot pick a favorite. Please do not make me pick a favorite because I will, I would choose death over having to choose over one of these gifts. And yeah, I just, I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And if you aren't, hopefully this vlog helps you in feeling just a tiny bit better. Hopefully it'll bring a smile to your face or make you forget about your troubles for just a couple of minutes, half an hour, 40 minutes. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. But yes, thank you so much for watching and wanting to spend some time with me. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. I have no idea what I have planned for this vlog, but I do know that it's going to be filled of good vibes, um, good vibrations, and just, just a wonderful time. We're going to have a lovely time together. So stay tuned um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.
Hey, Jimmy, you nice. Keep going.